Hello my YouTube friends. I am just coming in to do my week 10 update. It's now been 10 weeks since my surgery. Um, actually my 10 weeks is tomorrow. I'm doing this a day early because I'm not going to be home tomorrow. And uh, I wanted to make sure I do this because I have some amazing news. Let's just start with some numbers. When I started this journey, I was 359 pounds. My day of surgery, I was 341 pounds, so I lost 18 pounds on Octopath. Um, last week I was 303, and this week I am 299. I broke the threes. I'm out of the threes, and I am so happy about that. I can't even... When I stepped on the scale this morning and it started flickering in the twos, I just, I could have jumped, but of course I had to stay on the scale. But, um, I am 299 pounds, so that's a four pound loss this week. Um incredible. I was it's thirteen pounds I've lost this month, I think. Five pounds plus twelve pounds. Twelve pounds this month. So I'll take it. I'll take it. If I can lose twelve pounds a month, it's like hundred and forty pounds in a year. I know that's gonna stop and I know that's unrealistic, but that's just where my brain is right now because I'm in like happy two hundred vill land for my weight. It's amazing. So I'm down, even since I started this, I'm down 6 BMI points. So my BMI was 52, and now I'm down to 50, uh, 54. It was 52, now I'm down to 44. I did my measurements yesterday. I'm down 25 inches overall. That's over 2 feet, people. I'm down over 2 feet. 25 inches. It's incredible. It is absolutely incredible, and I just, I, I just am amazed. So, um, my world is changing, my face is changing, my body is changing, my attitude toward myself is changing. I feel so much more confident now. I feel more like a, and I know it's a, like now I'm down 60 pounds. I started at 259 and not 90, two, or I'm all muddled because I just, it's been such a good morning. Anyway. Um, I started at 359 and now I'm down to 299, so now I've lost a clean 60 pounds. And uh, it's amazing what that does to your self confidence. I feel like a real person again. I don't feel like the fat girl. I know I'm still the fat girl and still almost 300 pounds, but it's just amazing what losing 60 pounds will do to your confidence level. It just. So, pre oppers, waiting for surgery, considering surgery. Hell, even post stoppers. God, it's so worth it. It is so worth it. And people used to tell me, Trudy, the only regret you're going to have is that you didn't do this sooner. They were so right. So right. So when I was considering, you know, before my surgery, I went through these, these phases of, well, maybe I can lose the weight on my own. Maybe I should just try it one more time. Maybe surgery, maybe I'm sort of rushing into this. Or <sighs> I'm so happy I did it. I know I'm still in my honeymoon stage. I mean, I'm only 10 weeks out. You know, I haven't had any adverse... Sorry, I'm allergies today. Um, I haven't had any adverse reactions to food. Um, I've been lucky in that way. I haven't had no dumping. Um, although I haven't eaten anything that should make me dump, I don't think. I haven't had any sugar. Um, I do eat carbs, though. Like, I have a piece of bread every day with for lunch. One piece of bread. And uh, fruit. I mean, I'm having this is my breakfast every morning. I have a fruit smoothie for the breakfast every morning. So in my smoothie, I put one banana, about three strawberries, maybe four, depending on how big they are. Um, about a third of a cup of cottage cheese for the protein. Uh, some ice and Splenda, and that is my shake in the morning. Um, sometimes I make a banana chocolate one, so I make. I put banana, ice, cottage cheese, Splenda, and then chocolate extract, um, because I've been able to tolerate extracts really well. Um, so I put a bit of chocolate extract in there, and it's the same kind of extract they've used making chocolate ice cream. There's no sugar in it, so it tastes like a chocolate, it tastes like a banana chocolate milkshake. So, I, um, couldn't be more thrilled. Four pounds this week puts me down to 2.99. It's going to be a hot, sticky day. I think we're going to spend it in the pool if the thunderstorms stay away.
but uh, that will be our day today. So I'm happy to bring you this update, guys. This is a good one, and I'm very pleased. And I hope you're all doing really well. And I hear some surgery dates are coming up. Um, Mr. Derwin and Lucia WLJ have a surgery date coming up very soon. Um, Lucia will be thinking about you on Tuesday. That's your big day, girl. Um, I'll, I'll be thinking about you all day, so update us as soon as you can. I know you'll be out of it, but just let us know how you're doing as soon as you can. So, uh, we'll talk to everyone later. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys. And uh, have a happy day. I think I will. Bye.